What's up guys, Zach man, doing a video update on good old Tron and some other things here which I'll talk about in a minute. Uh, but right now looking at Tron, still looking very positive. Uh, we obviously um, hit another high, which is uh, very, very positive. Um, from our, and then obviously we're right here should be, I might go a little bit lower, but obviously we're gonna, might hit a higher low. So um, like I said, it's, we're definitely going up, so that's pretty positive. Uh, if we zoom out here, look at, uh, let's look at the four hour chart. Kind of see what that's looking like. Like I see, I see nothing but positive stuff, but we'll find out. Um, ah, my, there we go. Sorry, phone was going off. Um, like I said, it's definitely going up, so I don't see why we can't continue. Obviously, if we break through the support, um, that's a kind of a bad sign. But uh, we'll kind of keep on that when that, or keep an eye on that when that day comes. But until then, nothing but positive stuff coming out of Tron right now, as far as the, what the chart looks like. Uh, if we go to Holo, which uh, did really good last night, it was up like 40%, and obviously it kind of had a little sell-off, but um, that's obviously going to hit a higher high as well. Um, and then we have a lower high here, and then we're going to have a lower high here. So um, Holo Chain is looking really good. Uh, they just did uh, some major updates. I was just looking at an article. They did some updates. So if you guys are following Holo or in it, um, you know, definitely check it out anyways. Like I said, it's really, really cheap right now. And, you know, if you want to pick up something like 50 to 100 bucks, then, you know, like I said, you know, once this bull run takes off, which is going to, which I'll get into here in a little bit, uh, you know, you might be able to make, you know, a few thousand dollars off of a little small investment. So, uh, but then again, there's a risk too. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. So, uh, risk reward situation. So, take a risk if you want to. If not, that's fine. Uh, let's get to Bitcoin. Right now, like I said, there hasn't really been major moves on Bitcoin. I know with the government shutdown and like that, they delayed some of the ETFs, all that stuff. So, you know, Bitcoin's trading right around uh, 35 right now. Uh, but we'll get into that here in a little bit. Uh, some news that I do got, nothing really much on Tron. But uh, if we talk about Bitcoin, uh, and obviously this is like a huge, huge leap. Uh, but there's a new price prediction for Bitcoin by the end of the year uh, by John McCafe, I believe. And it's $170,000 with his forecast at the end of 2009 for Bitcoin. Um, I don't think that's very well possible just because that's, uh, that's pretty crazy. I think more, you know, if Bitcoin does take off, the ETFs are approved, we could see it retesting that 20000 But, you know, 10000 to, I'd say, minimum if they approve the ETFs. Otherwise, it's going to be another kind of a sideways trend this year and then maybe next year. But, uh, um, like I said, I'm not... I'll be down with 170,000 by the end of the year, but um, realistically, I don't see that happening. But uh, let's take a look at it. So when I uh, basically this is what he tweeted out: When I predicted Bitcoin at uh, 500,000 by the end of 2020, it used a model that predicted 5,000 at the end of the year of 2017. Bitcoin has accelerated much faster than my module assumptions. I now predict Bitcoin at one million dollars per coin. By the end of 2020, I will still eat my dick if I'm wrong, he said. So I better you get some A1 sauce. I guess I'm not sure what's going to go good with that. But um, but anyways, yeah, so he's uh, one of the loudest names in the IT and the crypto sphere. Uh, he's, you know, made some predictions before as far as that goes. But he's, like I said, he's predicting it's going to hit 1 million by the end of 2020. So... I didn't give any price predictions for 2019 yet, but according to his Bitcoin prediction for 2020, Bitcoin should be around $170,000 by December 31st, 2019 to be able to hit the 1 million mark after that. So basically, it's got to have a daily rate of 0.48% um, every day from now on up until December 31st, 2020 to reach 1 million threshold. So it's got to, and obviously, you know, that's not going to happen the percentage just because, you know, it could do 10% tomorrow, 100% the next day, 1,000%, 50%, negative 50, you know, it's just obviously that's just the thing to go by. But uh, alternative opinions from other people alike, let's kind of go through this. So um, the CEO of Galaxy Digital, Bitcoin should be hit about 10,000 by the end of the first quarter of 2019. So there's another prediction from other people. And after that, we'll go back to new highs to test the twenty to or twenty thousand or more. So that's kind of like well, that's what my thoughts were too um, when it came to that. As more of this realistic situation here, um, the uh, chief is, uh, officer from BitPay agrees with uh, the claims from there, and uh, he thinks it'll crawl up to twenty thousand by the end of twenty nineteen and won't drop below fifteen k afterwards. 
So he is sure that the general market bull run will be driven by the institution investors such as BlackRock, Square, all that stuff. So that's just kind of, like I said, I'm just kind of summing this up. I'm not going to read it already word for word. So uh, the founder of Morgan Creek Digital Assets is less optimistic. He claims that the bear market will overtake until quarter three of 2019 before we see any positive changes. So he thinks it'll still be the same, you know, drop below the 3,000. And then hopefully begin the recovery. So that's just kind of what their thoughts are. Um, Bitmex uh, has pretty much the same prediction. He also predicts Bitcoin to reach 50k in 2018, or they did, but obviously that never happened. But changed his mind in the opposite direction. Now says uh, 2019 won't see a bull run at all. So now the CEO of Bitmex is not saying there will be a bull run at all uh, this year. Um, Ronnie Moes. A cryptocurrency analyst predicted Bitcoin will reach 28000 in the course of 2019. He believes the BTC price will rise thanks to the increasing demand and decreasing supply of Bitcoin, which I kind of, there is a decreasing supply. I do agree with that because we're kind of getting there. And the accumulation uh, chart, last time I looked at it, uh, was starting to go up. A lot of people are holding, so everybody's accumulating. There's not really much selling. I mean, it, it might look like it is because of the way the market is, but it's, um, there's not a whole lot of selling. There's more accumulation versus the selling ratio, I guess. Um, but that's just a cool little article. I thought, like I said, whether or not it's actually going to hit 170,000 by the end of 2019. I don't think so. I think if there is a good bull run, good push, we could be testing 10,000 and new highs, obviously. So that would be my prediction as long as everything goes good as, of course, but nothing ever does, unfortunately. But for sure, by next year and the year after, we should be... Um, definitely some more positive things happening with not just Bitcoin, but with Tron, Holo, X, pretty much all your cryptocurrencies that are in the top 20, I'd say, uh, will be doing a lot positive bull runs. So obviously Tron has already kind of started its own little bull run in this uh, um, bear market, which is pretty positive. So just a little cool thing there. I thought that was uh, pretty sweet to see anyways, but like I said... Uh, I don't foresee 170,000, but you never know. But uh, if that happens, I guess we're all going to be rich, right? So cool things are happening. I got a cool little logo that I got on my computer. I think that's pretty sweet. A little Tron uh, icon right there. I thought that was pretty badass, actually. Look good on a t-shirt. Maybe I should make some t-shirts and sell them. I don't know. We'll see what happens, guys. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. And uh, here's to 2019 being the best uh, year and bull run coming soon, hopefully.